This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today, we are slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called Tiny Aliens that is available in the App Store for a solid 99 cents. This is one of our favorite new games in the physics puzzler genre, and it is actually much more of a puzzler than it is a physics arcade game. Uh, which is something that gives it a tremendous boost in our eyes, but uh, it is a, an app that we very much enjoy. And uh, without any uh, further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and boot this up and then show you how it works. This game is put out by Gamesio, or Gamesio, uh, if you want to pronounce it with an Italian accent, it's probably the way to go. My apologies to any Italian viewers, I know my Italian accent is pretty much terrible. So here's the main uh, menu, and as you can see, the game sports a very sort of uh, cute animation and uh, art style that we very much liked. In fact, we liked the design and animation of this uh, application quite a bit. Um, we'll talk more about that in just a second, um, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at these settings. So you've got, um, you can review the intro if you'd like, ending, same thing, reset game, credits, etc. Not a lot going on. Uh, of course, we do have the sound down, um, just so you can hear me a little bit more. We're kind of narcissistic like that, but it just makes things easier. A lot of different levels to play through. Obviously, I have not yet um, gotten to all of them, but uh, all of these are actually quite entertaining. Um, with this fresh install, we're still on the uh, first world, so let's go ahead and then hit this one, and then we'll go ahead and show you how this works. So essentially, uh, just to play through the first level, we'll give you a, a glimpse as to how the game actually functions, how this thing works. So essentially the idea is it'll tell you how to do this, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. You want to connect all of your aliens who are trapped on various planets, um, connect them together so that they transfer the electricity from these boxes to the spaceship, and to do this you simply tap blocks to get rid of them, and then you connect their fields, and then you're done with the level. This progresses slowly, um, allowing you to do more and more with it. So let's go ahead and do that. And <laughs> fail the level accidentally, didn't mean to do that. Um, so the idea here is actually that you want to do this as quickly as possible, and as efficiently as possible so that you get a higher star rating. So for instance, that time I didn't get any stars because I do, did not do it as efficiently as I might have. Um, and here I'm going to do this. Um, tap, tap, come on. Connect them all again, same concept. So uh, that's the basic idea. The game does throw a lot of stuff uh, into, the, into the concept itself to actually keep it entertaining, which is uh, a fact that we very much enjoy. Also, talking about graphics, just look at these level designs, or the level selection design indicator things. Um, it is a very Angry Birds and styled wallow levels, but at the same time, look at the 3D effects on the stars and the nice rounding on the icons itself. It's just great design. It looks bloody awesome, actually. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show you one of the uh, more advanced levels. As you go along, the game will add uh, different elements in, to the gameplay itself, like these gravity balls. So, for instance, to get this to work, I have to basically tap both of these at the same time, um, and then judge it just right so that they are propelled to the uh, location that they need to be at exactly the right moment, which is not what I've done there. So let's uh, go ahead and um, get rid of that. And there we go. So level complete. So again, you have these gravity balls that will actually shoot things out. You've got spikes, rotating elements, um, various other things at hand that make the game slightly harder to do. Um, and I actually don't remember how this one works. I think you have to go like that, and then wait, and then pop the alien, pop the alien. That didn't work. <laughs> but uh, again, lots of different elements that are included, and um, the pacing in this game is actually quite good in terms of uh, the fact that it introduces new uh, concepts at a speed so that you're never quite bored with the app. Um, there's always something new around the corner, um, and with various levels to play to various worlds, that of course is a uh, boon in and of itself. As we've mentioned a couple times now, we love the graphics set, it's just gorgeous. It's very uh, nice sort of vector style, vector inspired um, animations and illustrations. The whole thing is very professional from the ground up. We like it a lot, and uh, in general the levels themselves are crisp and intelligent, as in they make you think. So we like that a lot as well. You also get a ton of content to play through here, so that's uh, quite the boon. And uh, just overall, the fact that it's 99 cents in the App Store makes it a tremendous value. So uh, if you can't tell where we're heading, we're heading into a wrap-up, which means it is now time to give Tiny Aliens its own star rating, which uh, actually clocks in at a 4.5 out of 5 stars. We think Tiny Aliens is a great new, uh, soon-to-be classic iOS game, and as future updates you bring out even more content, more challenges, etc., etc., it's only got a chance to improve uh, from where it already is and where it already is is a 4.5 rating, <laughs> to put that simply. So again, uh, Tiny Aliens is available for $0.99, cents, and we highly suggest that you grab it. 
at this point, that's all I have to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Bye.